Today we're at the Main Street Cafe here in Pocomo. Um, I've got some carrots and hummus, and I've got a called the Hog Farmer's Sandwich. Pulled pork, ham, and bacon on a pretzel bun. Very good. Kind of reviewing the past weekend. Liz was at Tech Valley Regional. Tech Valley Regional. Tech Valley Regional yeah. in Troy. Troy, New York. Yeah, the new event. I think many of us were actually home this weekend. So it's a nice to have a rest. Most of us are heading out to events this coming weekend. Yeah. Technical support at anywhere on Thursday and Friday might be kind of slim. Call the FTA table at Wilmington Regional for your support for this coming weekend. <laughs> <laughs> like a, like a red phone. Red phone. <laughs> hey, we are this week. We are we are going to come out with a, some more information about hex bearings. We're actually working on more information about what hex bearings are out there. There's there's some hex bearings that have a lower load capabilities than other hex bearings, and we've sold different types of hex bearings over the past six months. So we're going to let you know what the differences are of the ones that we've sold. So we'll watch for information regarding hex bearings. There's one person that asked me to talk about battery leads. We've had a couple Andy Mark battery leads that have the black lead clipped into the positive side. They've had to fix a couple of them. I've heard of, I think, two instances we've had to fix those. Sorry about that. We've made a couple of those mistakes after making thousands of those cables. Hey, have you guys all read Jim Zondag's um, PDF paper regarding the history of penalties in FRC? Check it out. It's very opinionated. It's not necessarily right or wrong. I really enjoyed the paper. I'm trying to think back. I'm not sure I believe the fact that he said there were no penalties before 2004. I, I remember there were some penalties before 2004. But I think the paper does do a good job of explaining how penalties affect matches over the years. So I recommend you look at that paper. Hopefully we can all learn from this and uh, maybe that paper will help enhance the game as we go forward this year. Link in the description down there. We're not necessarily saying it's 100% true or 100% agreed upon. There's some things in it I don't necessarily agree with, but it's a good opinion from Jim. So thanks Jim for putting that out there. You guys were all watching my event on webcast. Right. My event went really well. I thought that my field crew and referees did a really good job. Um, we managed to get through the event without doing any replays, which I was really happy about. But there were some um, times where we had to step back and look at the rules and make sure that we made the correct call or the right call um, on, on some instances, but I think overall the crew that was there did a really good job, especially for a first year event. You all need to come to Kokomo and eat beer at um, Main Street Cafe, it's pretty good.